everyone, I'm Tom Vassell, and today I like to talk about measuring things. I don't often use these. I know they're often used for clothing to measure. Uh, the, the tailor or seamstress will use these to measure me for maybe a new suit or something. Of course, they need one twice as long. Um, but I don't often use this as much anymore because I found that electronic measuring devices are more accurate. But this particular tape measure that I have here measures things by centimeters and inches, which makes sense. And the other side measures things by apples and bananas. That makes less sense, but uh, that's what tapes is all about. It's about measuring things. We're going to go into a room and I'll say, how long is that TV? How high is that lamppost in quarters or by playing cards? There are four of these tape measures, each with four items, 16 things. Let's find out how we measure things. I'll show you right now. Once you take the game out of the box, it is in this clipboard, and isn't that cute? You can, uh, I guess, you could put the, uh, you could put the, the score sheet there or the rules if you want, but whatever. We open the box, and inside are short rules, which is really all you need to play the game: score sheets, a pencil, and then four of these measuring tapes. Now, each of these measuring tapes has four different measurement things on them. So for example, this one here measures things by quarters and playing cards. And on the other side, it measures things by soda cans and basketballs. So you can see there's one soda can, two soda cans, three soda cans that are on here, along with half measurements, three quarters, etc. On the back side is the spinner. Now, it's a very satisfying spinner to hear. However, I'm gonna tell you, the number of times we spun this and it landed on a line is often. I really wish they had made some way to redo that, just kind of re-spinning it all the time, I think is a problem. But, what you're gonna do is, on a player's turn, they're going to spin this. Everyone needs a scrap sheet of paper, which the game doesn't really provide, but anyway, you got a scrap sheet of paper, and then you're going to pick an object in the room. So, first of all, we have squirrels here. I'm sorry, first you're gonna pick the challenge effect. So you're gonna spin this to pick the challenge effect, and this says triple points. And then you'll get the other thing, so let's say it's squirrels. At that point, you'll pick an object, let's say this hat. And everyone's gonna guess how, I'll say how long is this hat in squirrels. Everyone writes their answer down, you write them down. Once everyone's done writing them down, now it's time to find out. So where is squirrels? This is apples and bananas, centimeters and inches. This here is pizza and cheeseburgers, gummy bears and chicken eggs, honeybees and wiener dogs, and hamsters and squirrels. So here we go. So let's measure this hat in squirrels. So squirrels are the top one. And we're going to go from the front here to the back. So we'll just go underneath it like this. So this hat and it ends right there, is two and three-eighths squirrels long. <laughs> On the other hand, it is about six and a half hamsters long, and it would be quite a few honeybees long. Honeybees are much shorter. I mean, look how many honeybees are on here. It could be 20, 40, 60 honeybees long, and wiener dogs, it might only be just the length of a wiener dog long. Now, we found when we're playing this, as you're going through all these, these are kind of neat, right? But my kids are like, well, what kind of gummy bear? You know, how long is the gummy bear? So I always show people the measurement first. And gummy bears actually aren't too far off from being a centimeter. Chicken eggs are close to two inches, and so on and so forth. I guess you could play that you can't look at this measurement thing here, but you're not allowed to touch what you're you know, you're not allowed to touch the hat and pick it up and try to compare it. And in fact, you know, you're, you're not even supposed to get close to the object. So if I say that door frame over there, how tall is it? People aren't supposed to get up and go over and look at it. Either way, that's the game. The next person will go and they'll do the same thing. You do this for four rounds. Everyone, everyone basically goes around and does it for one round. And then you're supposed to move to another room, which I don't know that many people are going to do that. You just stay in the same room, whatever. I guess you could go to another room in a house and you do it again. And after four rounds, whoever has the most points is the winner. Mechanically, and I, I like, like I said, there's just something about that. Listen to that spinner. It sounds amazing. And I like the tape measures. I like that it all fits in this. It's easy, portable to carry around. That all is fun. And, and, and here's the thing. The idea of the game, the gimmick of the game, measuring stuff, works for a bit. 
So there's a couple things I don't love about the game. I don't love this triple points or close up, which means you're allowed to look at it or blind guess. Everyone has to, you know, everyone has to kind of close their eyes or not look at the object while you're writing it down. But just that just seems like it was there just to add something else. The basic concept of the game is fine. It's just that you're measuring things by apples and bananas, and after a while, you just find that you're basically doing a lot of division. Because I know here that an apple is about three inches. Once I know that, I'm just guesstimating how many inches something is. Now, that doesn't mean that the game's bad. It's just that this is a game to play. You can even jump from room to room like the game intends. And it's like, woo, that was fun. And then you're kind of done. My family had a great time playing this, but they haven't asked to play it again because you kind of seen everything there is to see. In fact, they got to the point where when we spun the same thing three times in a row, we were like, click, click. Actually, we meant soda cans or basketballs rather than do, you know, wiener dogs for the sixth time in a row because sometimes that's just the way things end up. It's fine. It's an interesting game. I had a good laugh at it. We all enjoyed it. I'm just not sure it's the kind of game that has too much replayability. Also, if you're in the house and you measure everything in that room, and then you move to another room, measure things in that room, and so on and so forth, you're going to kind of be measuring the same things again and again. And you kind of run out of things to measure, like, oh, I'll measure your shoe. I'll measure that dresser. And it just starts feeling a little samey. Now, that might not be a problem for a lot of people. A lot of people might find this to be interesting, and I think the concept is fun and engaging. This is one I give a 6 out of 10 to. Um, I find that it's fun. If you ask me to play it, I, I jump in, but I don't know that I want to own this one because I feel like I've already explored the whole game, and there's not a lot of... Because party games, I want my party game to be something I can play over and over again, and I'm not sure this meets that category as much as I'd like to. But it's still a fun little idea, so that's tapes. Uh, T-A-P-E-S, no, just tapes. Anyway, measure all the things, it says, and you will. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.